couple of weeks ago I went out on my loose ends trip got thwarted by the weather I thought that was going to be the last trip for the year but I've managed to uh, get a four day break so I've decided to um, get back out there Here we go again at the um, Money to Miles Converter Shop. Better convert some money to miles because I've got a few miles to go yet. It's a bit dodgy this, but this is the way to the start of the sand plane track. Probably got about 10 kilometres of uh, circling all these farmers' paddocks. Only in Australia. 150 k's. So they're, they're pretty fast, eh? bell down the bottom here will be that rocky outcrop. Uh, only a few kilometres up the road we'll cross the vermin proof fence. Hang on. And then not far after the vermin proof fence I will be at camp. Well hello. Back into my little camp off the sand plain track. Been a bit slacked, didn't uh, pull the video out when I got in, but I have had a couple of beers. It's pretty warm, 37 odd degrees, so I've uh, made some improvements on the uh, energy status for tonight. So I'm just going to sit back now with a beer, wait till the sun goes down. And uh, we'll get some coals on the go, ready for dinner. So if I don't get back to the video tonight, I guess I'll see you all in the morning. Well, good morning. Another day of frivolity coming up, no doubt. Another hot one as well. Just uh, getting my coffees down and we'll start packing up and getting this show on the road. In the meantime, while I'm having a coffee, I'll do my usual, pull all my bedding out to dry. Okay, so the plan of attack for today. Apart from driving, I'm not really gonna be doing a lot. Oh well, I suppose while I'm here, we should go have a look at the tank, the old covered tank. 
It's just in those trees there, if you remember from when I was here a couple of weeks ago, it's all overgrown now. Oh, we've got cattle. Got a cow down here. He wasn't real happy seeing me. That water's dropped considerably in the last couple of weeks. I'm sure. I'll uh, include a photo of what it looked like two weeks ago when I was here last. Alrighty, back on public road again, Mount Jackson Road. So, road rule supply. There is a chance that I could see another vehicle, although I think it'd be small, but you never know. Got some water on the track from a couple of weeks ago when it rained for 24 hours. First bit of water I've seen actually, surprisingly it's uh, still there. It's a bit of a crap chicken track. Awesome, I found the GoPro again. It's a pretty good track, this track into Mount Manning from Mount Geraldine. Um, it has some slow spots, especially around Wargling Soak, which we'll get to a bit later on. Just up here we should have a place called Wargling Soak. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here for some lunch. And then we'll see if we can knock off a couple of those loose ends that have been bugging me for a while. Well it might be like uh, 35, 36 degrees but it's actually not too bad. There's uh, slight breeze blowing which is cool so that's good and it's a dry heat out here so it's a lot easier to handle I think I mean don't get me wrong I wouldn't want to be digging holes in it but it's bearable here's our soak I'm sure it's got a lot more water in it now than when I looked at it when I was last here at Easter so over the Back in the horizon over there, that will be the Helena and Aurora Ranges. I might see if um, I can actually make it there this evening, see how we go for time. And just over there is Mount Manning, which I just passed. All right, lunch done, let's get on the road. So I came through here at Easter. I had a rough idea that the huts were up here, but I didn't actually grab any information before I left. Consequently, I didn't see anything. The first hut, I believe, is about 500 metres off this track to my left. I reckon that track should be here. Evidence of a track. Ah, what have we got here? We have a track. Ooh, interesting. Ah, 
Aha! You little ripper. I finally get to knock off one of my loose ends. We found it. Well, there's a bucket list item I can tick off. Been wanting to find this hut for some years now. Now I know exactly where it is. Now, I know this hut being called Reed's Hut. I'll have to do some research on it. I don't know what the story is, but I'm wondering if it may not actually be Reed's Hut. The reason I say it is there should be something on this drum here. Hopefully it still exists. Sure does. Stone Hut. Ah, Dimmer. Rolly Dimmer. 18th of the 7th, 1957. Now, Rolly Dimmer was a dogger government dogger that worked out here controlling all the wild dogs I have a sneaking suspicion this is where he lived and I'm so happy to have actually found it there's some more riding on the other side we'll keep an eye out for wriggly sticks in my best snake proof boots So, uh, RD, Rolly Dimmer, DD, someone Dimmer, and BD, someone else Dimmer. 20th of the second, 62. Reed's hut? I don't know. But I reckon this was the home of Rolly Dimmer. We've got a big rocky outcrop up here as well. I might just go for a scout up there and see what we can find. I'll turn the video off for now. If there's anything up there, I'll turn it back on. Glass. I wonder if there's water here. Well, in regards to water, looks like I struck out. Some lowlands in there in amongst the trees, but she's dry. Pink and greys are having a good time. Don't think they're very happy about me being here. Well, what do we got here? Old fence line. I would keep rabbits out. Why did they make the Great Wall of China? That, that was during the time of Emperor Nazi Goring, and uh, it was to keep the rabbits out. There's too many rabbits in China. It's pretty thick in there. Old bucket. Bit of a hole that's been dug there. Cog springs. I did find that bottle buried in the ground next to my car, so I've just brought it over here. Broken spring. Got a hand brake lever thing. Whatever it's for. Got an old oil tin over in the back corner there by the look of it. Very cool. Alright, I'm going to go back to the car and uh, take a few photos of this place. Then 
we'll head on down the track, see if we can find the other one. Ah, note to self. If you're going to park your car in the sun, maybe open your windows. It's freaking stifling in here. Alright. Let's get back on the road. Just around the corner here, we should be out. There, Courage on Rock. Well, it's a balmy 39 degrees. And I've got to say, I'm feeling a bit weary today. I have been awake since 4.30 this morning when the sun came up, so that probably doesn't help. Somewhere here is a pool of water. So yeah, as I was saying, so I've got a couple of choices. So I can go out to the east and come out on the Evanston Menzies Road. I can go down here to Geordie. I can go down that way where the car is towards the Helena and Aurora's. All right, I'm just about out of battery. It just shut off on me as I was putting down some commentary, but uh, there's actually a little bit more water here than normal. There's a bit of a bloody rabbit warren through here. Oh, this gives me a little bit of grief. I'm pretty sure this is the way out. And another point of interest, Pittersporum Rock beside the large Pittersporum tree. Let's go see how much water's in this one. Welcome to Pyrrhus Pittersporum Rock. You would have seen me here before, been here a few times. Note the two blazers in the tree, LC and D. If anyone knows what they are, how about leaving some detail in the comments below. And it must have been that rain that we had a couple of weeks ago because the hole's pretty full. <coughs> it's usually not this full when I come out. The, um, the wasps are loving it. And we also got Taddies down there as well. They're loving it too. If you have a look in the background there, you can see a high peak. That will be the Helena and Aurora's, probably about 20 kilometers away. That's gonna be camp for the night. Hmm, all the spin effects has seeded. I'm lucky it ain't on the track. Well, welcome to my little camp at the Helena and Auroras. Um, just over the back there, in between the trees, just up there, you can see the top of one of the smaller hills part of the range. Man, it's hot. 39 degrees today. I'm going to... Uh, do some maintenance on my chainsaw. I think it needs a bit of a sharpen. And I've just cut up some wood for a little bit later. Again, I'll uh, do some meat in the camp oven. Hopefully I haven't cut too much wood again like I normally do. But for now, I think um, might just get this chainsaw a sharpen and uh, chill out with a beer till the sun goes down. Sounds like a good plan to me. Whether I get on the video again this evening, I don't know, it's quarter to six now, so 
I'll see how we go.